Hey guys, check out this really cool AR. This is my dad's AR, and we just dropped these really cool Scalar Works fixed iron sights on this beautiful AR-15 here. Like I said, we just put these sights on, and we have no idea where they're hitting. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna step back to 50 yards, shoot a group, see where it's hitting, and make the adjustments from there, and show you how we do that. All right, so we're back here at 50 yards because we think 50 yards is a really good zero distance for a setup like this. Now, the next thing we need to do is the mechanical zero. As you can see, these sights are used, and the rear sight is all the way to the left, and the front sight is all the way down. So we are just going to mechanically zero these, which means I'm just going to uh, take the sight and just return it to about middle. Not about middle, pretty much middle. Just gonna do that for both of them. The front sight is used to adjust elevation and the rear sight is used to adjust windage. And as I'm done talking, I am done turning. <laughs> oh, talking and turning, that sounds fun. <laughs> All right, let's get muffed up and shoot a group and see where this thing hits. Before we get started, this front sight has a big glare on it, and that's really hard to focus because it, I can almost mistake it for the little yellow dot on our target down there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some soot from the Zippo and just blacken the front sight here. And I did get the Zippo custom made from Dark Alliance Customs. Thank you guys. Please give them some love. <laughs> I like how they did like a little paper, ripped up paper yeah. kind of look. There we go, I saw it disappear. Yeah. That's black. It's just a Yep. That's cool. All right. Cool, well it's blackened and yeah, let's shoot a group. All right, so now is a good time to check that your small aperture is up because it would be really hard to shoot a small and precise group with this big aperture. So make sure you have the small aperture up. Also, we are loaded up with three rounds of Fukuji M193. Let's see where this thing hits. Let's go check that out. All right, so another thing that we did to set ourselves up for success is have a nice big black target on a contrasting white background. Now, that really helps to give, you, give yourself a better sight picture and just get a better group. Now, right here, speaking of the group, is a little bit bigger than I was hoping for, but still really good. All right, so as you can see, we have to go a few inches left and about an inch, inch and a half down. So let's go make those adjustments and see where we hit. All right, so here we are back at 50 yards, and the Scalar Works sites make this really easy by giving you a little indication arrow where you're, where you're going to hit. We know we have to move left, so we're just going to turn this a little bit this way. Right, that should be good. All right, if you don't have this little indication arrow here, the thing to remember is always move the rear sight in the direction you want to hit. So like, we wanna move left, so whichever direction this little thumb screw moves to make it go left is the direction we want to move it. Now, onto the front sight. All right, so yeah, with the Scalar Works sights, they do still have the indicator arrow, but if you don't have that, the thing to remember with the front sight is to move your front sight post in the opposite direction as you want your group to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move our front sight post up because we want our group to go down. Now, this way is up. That should be about good there. All right. All right. All right, let's get muffed up and see where this gun hits now. Ooh, I might have pulled that one. Okay. A little bit. So if I got a flyer, it's probably because of that. All right, let's go check that out. Cool. All right, so here's our previous group. We circled them, and here is our new group. But it looks like it was going to be pretty good 
But with this flyer, I think we should just reshoot it to be safe. So we're just gonna go ahead and erase this bad group. Just like that. And I think I'm gonna take these ones too away. Even though it's such a good group. All right. Let's go shoot another group, but without a flyer this time. All right. All right. Let's go check that. All right. This is a really good group, but uh, it looks like I did come about a click too far down, so we're gonna move up, and then I'm gonna see if I can do that good of a group again. All right, so I'm just gonna come one click up, and that should be good. All right. Cool. Let's go check that out. Yes, there is a flyer, and yes, it is very annoying, but down here is our group. Now, that's a pretty good group. Without this flyer, I'd take that. It's pretty, it's good enough for what we're doing around here. <laughs> but yeah, please let me know in the comment section down below if you learned anything, and if you did, subscribe. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, just like we had a lot of fun making it. So thanks for watching, I'm Jim and we'll see you next time.